Welcome back to the MVM show, guys. I'm here again with Travis and Thomas. Like I was telling them on the last ones, nice to have people to talk to. I've <laughs> been on here a lot by myself, but Ben actually has some good guests on too. So we're just chucking some dues and some Arizona tea. Thomas looking handsome as ever with his new Kuyu. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I base camp base yeah. camp snap shirt. Mm, I'm getting one too. <laughs> you like that, no, Travis? It's comfortable. It really is comfortable. It looks pretty nice. Is it Do you warm? feel it? Did you feel it? How it's just got to like the I'm light. I'm going to rub your brother's arm. Why? He don't mind. It's kind of weird. It's <laughs> <sighs> all right, Chad. It's just a perfect <laughs> little <clears throat> base coat. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Just It's just perfect. I don't know. I didn't think I was like it when I seen it in the pictures, but when I put one on, I was like, okay, this no, is... No, I like it. This it's is not like, very thick. It's not bulky. It's just cozy, it's just, dude. Yeah. No, it is, com- it is very comfortable. It's perfect for something like this. Yeah, sitting around a fire, going to party, going to tent, whatever, doing whatever. Honestly, I, I'm gonna hunt in this too. Well, it looks kind of sure. like, looks kind of like dressy, you know. Yeah, it's just got yeah. that look, yeah. that professional look. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. But we're gonna go over in this episode. We're gonna talk about um, a couple items each that we'll give a couple items that we're looking at getting this year. I I have more than a couple items. In fact, I've already got one that I've already purchased. So I might do two or three, but nothing long. Just uh, I know, I know people like these because I do too. Like hearing about what people got in mind, like they're gonna get something new. I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that, or I forgot I was wanting to get that. You know, two years ago, and I kind of fell off my list. So we'll just go over that. If you guys want, I can start, um, and then you guys just finish off what your thoughts are. So one of the ones that I had on my list, and I actually just got like two weeks ago because I was waiting for a really good sale is the um, Dakota Decoy Packable Mallards, but the paint painted heads are painted bodies, painted heads, because I'm, like, over-flocking. Like, I do not – I'm just – I'm done with it. I don't know. Like, I shouldn't say done with it. Like, I would never use it because I know, like, Pat likes them. And they do look good if you baby them, but, like, when the sun hits them, I don't know. Like, a Drake Mallard does kind of glisten, and, like, flocked is just that dull look, right? So I'm like – I don't know. It's one of those things that you always go back and forth. Like two years from now, I'll go back to it. I probably, but I don't I'm like how it sure wears they out. shot ducks before flocking came out. Exactly. But yeah. They were wood. They were wood Ow. decoys. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I, I was, I've talked to you, didn't I, before season is even over last year that I'm going to buy some for mm. the boat and just for packing in and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we've had them for well, we've had a while. Yeah. You were the first one, or was that Johnny that bought those first? I think big Johnny, big did. Johnny, and you're like, dude, these are so nice because yeah. they're light. He actually doesn't even like them. I don't think <clears throat> that's hilarious. You could call me Johnny if you hear this and think I'm making stuff up, but I thought you told me you didn't like how the keels kind of bent over, bend. but bend. But yeah. I never really had that problem. But it might be how I was storing them too. Well, I liked them because on a calm day they still move a little more than a heavier decoy, yeah, big time. So not only that, but when I bought them, we were walking a lot more. Mm-hmm. So like <laughs> the weight, the more weight you can cut down, like the better, right? I mean, that's what I, I didn't want to pack such a heavy thing. So I had bought three ounce weights with the lightest decoys at the time. I know some other companies came out and made like smaller decoys, but these are a full size packable. You can mm-hmm. smash them, you know. I never really did. I didn't but, either. But... But if you could, you know, if you needed to, you could type of thing. Will they come out in a six pack? Four drinks, two hands. You can buy them in a six pack, and I, they have twelve packs too. I bought them in twelve packs. But what I was gonna say is, um, I was waiting for them to go on sale because for a six pack they're ninety bucks, so they're not cheap. But I told him I've seen them before where they go on sale, so I knew they're gonna go on sale at some point. And I was honestly I was patient because I like I have decoys, I don't have to get these. But I did give a lot of my uh, flocked head mallards, final approach mallards to uh, Clint because I knew I wanted to get those ones and I, I wanted to get away from the flock flocked heads and I wanted to get it, I wanted to lose some weight on the decoy, like go way lighter, right? So um, I was looking every probably like month. I'd just look and see if there's any cells. And I two weeks ago or so, I got on there and it was... It was, uh, man, like I don't want to exaggerate, dude. I want to say it was like 50 bucks off a dozen. Oh, okay. It was. It was 50 bucks off a dozen. 
That's how good the deal was. And man, and it was, I think it was right by Labor Day. Was that about two weeks ago? I think so. Yeah. So I'm like, called him. I was like, dude, do I want two or three? And I think he said two. And I even went in my notes. I have two dozen and I bought three. <laughs> but he up. had a good point though. He's like, you just do two now and one next year. So you have kind of a newer set. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now I'm kind of regretting like, ah, I wish I would have waited. Just kind of, you're always having a. You bought three though, right? I did. Well, yeah, but think about it. You got the sale. You got yeah. the sale, right? You can still leave them boxed up. That's true. If you got, a lot of times we only really <laughs> use a dozen, right? Yeah. And so if don't crack that one or at least don't hunt them. And then next year you got a, a brand new set that you bought on sale. I mean, whatever, you know. It would be the wise thing to do whether or not I actually do that. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, did you throw the boxes out already? No, I haven't even taken them out yet. Oh, well, leave them in the box. Yeah. There's yeah, no they reason. They nope. They won't be in the sun. They won't. Yeah, they'll be all. They'll, they'll, they'll be perfect. Stored. They'll be brand new. So is your dozen flocked? Flocked. Heads? Yeah. It's flocked. Are they looking and they're good still? Old. But are they looking still good? Mine was so faded, dude. They're terrible. We hunted them all last year with Pat. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I could just. I still have mine, I think. I could Yours just. Yours got trashed, though, for some reason. I have no idea oh, why. Oh, well. He warned me and I didn't listen. They were in the sun. They sat in my boat for like three yeah. months. Yeah. Travis said, What are you leaving those decoys in the sun like that for? And I was like, Ah, they're fine. And it was like all of a sudden I go out there one day and they were like white, dude. They were white. Yeah. I was like, Oh, you idiot. I should listen to Travis. But, anyways, no matter what, we, I've been, I used to be really, really baby my decoys. And honestly, the last couple of years we talked about, we're like, We're just going to abuse them and see what they can deal with. And, it pays to take care of them. They definitely last a lot longer. Yeah. Well, they were flocked heads too. Yeah. That, you that was think for sure. So they were idea. going they were going a lot though, too. Yeah. Like when they got used. They got their, their money's worth. So I sorry, that was a little bit too long for just one. The other thing, I did have a couple other things, but I was like, eh. Um I guess I'll do two short ones real quick. I I, I would like to get one or two of those Higdon pulsators, the new ones. Because those needed to be fixed, and they finally, I don't know if you've seen that, Travis, but they actually um, <clears throat> modified some stuff and made some stuff that they were having issue, issues with. Did they with. like fake feet on them too or something? i seen one that had like feet they on They had that before, I think. Yeah, they've oh, had no, that. No, they didn't. You're right. They didn't have that. What do you mean? The other day I was in Sportsman, they have one, I think it's a pulsator, but it has feet. The, that, oh, that spin? The water spins. That's a different one. <clears throat> That's a different one. feet or something. Yeah. No, this was the it's the pulsator, but they like modified a few things that they were probably getting a lot of callbacks on. Like, um, I think that's a spot. Where you charge it, they changed that whole yeah, method. Yeah, I think that's where it was defaulting a lot. It was. So I, I looked at that. That, but the thing is, is I have these Duck Creek decoy, a uh, Duck Creek decoy works um, from Tyler. They're in Colorado, and man, those are those are money. There's a little bit of noise. I know some people are like, oh, they're kind of loud, but like, I, I don't, I don't think they're too loud to use. To be honest, with you, I've killed ducks over them, and I really, I feel like they're kind of the best motion the looking motion, out there. I like the motion. Of it's it. good, dude. Like it's, and it puts out good ripples. Um, that so we have those. We have three of those. So technically, I probably don't need to buy a pulsator, but it, man, it's like sometimes it just, it doesn't hurt to have a lot of motion because that may be all I use. Six regular decoys and four of that stuff, you're good to go. And then uh, the one thing, this is kind of a different one, but uh, I want to get some burlap. I want to like, I don't know if I'm just going to buy like a big sheet of it and cut it into the size I want, but I'd like to cover stuff up, use it for, be a little bit better about hind stuff, like the boat even. If we go park it somewhere, you know, throw brown burlap, or camo burlap over the motor, throw it over the boat, kind of like cover stuff up and make it look a little bit better. I feel like kind of got lazy on that a little bit myself. Or like the cart with all the stuff in it, you're always just breaking cover over. And think about that. Every time someone hunts and they do that, you're just, that's why those tule patches by the end of the season are thrashed. Yeah. So I want to, I don't want to be that guy. I want to go out there, burlap's light, have it in the cart, throw it over the sled and Big, kind of big enough for the cover of the sled. So that's just some things I've been thinking about getting. So I don't know who wants to go next, but. One of the things I was wanted to get is uh, Jake was telling me about it, but some blind that they have where they can just pop Oh, up that pop-up one? Yeah. I wanted to get one of those. Yeah, just, those are bad. 
uh, pond that I found, basically, it's like if I get this one spot in this pond and have to be covered. Last two years I, that I've been over there, it's just been loaded with birds. Oh, but was it two years that you've been? Two two different years, yeah. It's been oh. just stacked with widgeon and pintail and teal. Not a lot of mallards. You think that will be enough to have that one sided blind to do that? Well, the thing was, is I was in this tule clump about the size of this table right here. But I mean, what are you going to do me. about back cover? Do you well, only... well th- there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of vegetation that's off the pond. That's light that I can just basically use. I mean, so most you just like, back most up, like, put your like back to the tules. Looks like two people. Well, there's no tules. Oh. That's what I'm saying. So bare how are you going to cover your back if you if you have that in front of you? You could buy two is it of them. One sided or it's two sided. It's one. It is. It's one. But you yeah. could buy two. I would need like two probably. And then just meet them, and then, or get PVC pipe and get some kind of, you know, that uh, Dude, that netting camo. You could. Oh yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you, you know, could put that behind you or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'll just tell you this: one of those weighs as much as a long, uh, camping chair. So it's heavy, light. No light. light. Like a camping chair, meaning the ones you, the Walmart ones you slide oh, in the okay. thing. That's okay. as much as one weighs. So yeah, it might Something just be like easier to do too. I mean, I don't think it'd be devastating in, on these ponds. That, um, I really like sweet. that that Kuyu backpack. You really That's, want that? Uh, I, don't know. It's like, uh, I know. I want you to get. <laughs> I want you to have that, dude. It is sweet. <laughs> I don't know. Just is it, something like that. Be just. <laughs> Maybe we know I hate these guys. We can get it. you for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that and then mm, I need to upgrade my decoys. I just haven't. Man, when's the last Dude, time you've done that? I don't know. I could drop some serious. You make me here. feel guilty. I, I how many times have I upgraded since you have? Man, my goodness. I don't know. I think I got some of the first time I took you, Duck Honey. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm have joking. you ever upgraded? Have you? Oh, yeah. When's the last time you bought decoys? It's been a long time. Like, just take a guess. <laughs> Four years, maybe. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's been longer. No, nah, I bought some mallards. I bought those. Uh, what mallards? I bought some from Rogers. They had some. I forget. Even, I don't even oh, remember the yeah. brand they had, but there was some. <clears throat> I think I remember you talking about that. Yeah. What weights? I really did you, liked them. What weights were you using? Just tying just something. Some junky. Yeah. Whatever fishing weights. Yeah. Just get all tangled up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dear Lord. Dude. I know, man. I'm so old school. Do you are, dude? You still do things the hard way sometimes. The hard way, you know. Hard, but. And if I ever find a, a good marsh seat, I'm sick of marsh seats. If anybody out there is a manufacturer, <laughs> yeah. you can come up with a good marsh seat, I'll be the first one to buy it. I'm sick of these things falling apart. Dude. They put wood as the as the I base. Know. And that gets in water. water soaked and it rots, uh-huh. right? Dude. But you need something that you can pull out of the mud easy. You got to either that or sit on top of the mud. Some way, something. Do you know I still with a swivel would be good. I have just, my Avery seat. 500 pounds. Dude, from my, the first year Avery, I've hunted. Avery's, I don't know how. I don't possible. know how. I'll tell you how. How? I almost, I almost never sit on it. You Look, use it to put your gun on. I, I do that, but I always put... It's a put, seat. It's not a stand. It's a I seat. Know. I know. But I, it's always <laughs> above water. And I think that is the only reason it's lasted. Uh-huh. It's always just right above the water. And I and I know I I know usually that's too high to sit. And when there's birds, I usually get off of it and get on one knee is what I usually do. I I don't do that all the time, but I think there's been a and I have sat under the water. It's not like it's never gotten wet. It's gotten soaked plenty of times. But I think because I I don't always put it under water. I think that's why cuz yeah, there's no reason why it wouldn't have fallen apart. I've had yeah. about five or six of them. They've all, they don't last. They don't. It, it, that's why I don't even care. I just buy the cheapest one, whether it's Rogers or Avery or whatever it is. They're all the same. They they don't mm. last. Yeah. I, I don't see how there's not a way they can't make something that does, though. You think they could make it out of some, like, airplane aluminum or I don't, something <laughs> light? Like light. Super, I mean, super aluminum. Super light. Guy like Jimmy Muller would be the perfect guy. You know, a, a, aluminum with like a closed cell foam or something, and then has with what? Something, aluminum with like a closed cell foam or something like that. Water can't get in. Dude, into I wouldn't even care if it was like mesh, something. Ooh, mesh don't sound good. Something, and if if it could swivel, 
Hey, that's you're, a good. You're picky, but that's a good, a good idea. idea. Swiveling Actually, is important. Well, they do have some that do that, but, but they're yeah, the big, but, bulky, heavy yeah, ones. I don't want though. some big heavy. I want something light. I mean, like just enough for just your like cheeks. Spin, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. just to spin. Yeah, but then you're hey, moving too much. What about nah. a round seat? Nah. Yeah, dude. What? A round seat. Yeah. Like you're stinking bit of bar stools, dude. With well, some kind of bearing, they're only that big. Bearing up in there that it spins. Well, we better stop talking about this. We're gonna have to design this. Come up with that. I'll, I don't know. I'll hook up with Jimmy Muller and he'll, he'll design it for me, and we'll split the profits. Something. <laughs> yeah, it's in the works. Something. Seriously, a bar stool size. That's about like what that yeah. right there. Uh-huh. Swivels. You're done. The only thing is, could you make that still where it folds? Folds. Do you need it to fold? Is that really that inconvenient to have something about that size? With I don't the- even know if it needs a fold. Hey man. Go all out. Put a bun warmer you could, in it. You could, <laughs> you could get it to fold. There's a little slot you can slide it in. <laughs> a little heater. It's like a little shaker heater thing. Just slides yeah. in there, you know? <laughs> Woo! That's hilarious. Relatable. Really cool. Yeah. Hmm. I never thought about that. Why did I never think about round? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What you got? So we're getting the new boat, right? I and, hope. And yeah, at some point. <clears throat> but uh, we got to, uh, I think this year we're going to invest in a custom blind Yeah, for a boat. We got a guy. Thomas found a guy. We got a guy. Legitimately. Yeah. No, is legit- he a good welder? Does I he do it for a living? Like, is that part of his? He welds fence every day. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Does he do much aluminum stuff? I don't think he does that much aluminum. But, I mean, he's built a ton of truck beds. He welds yeah. pipe fence every day. Uh, yeah. John. John, 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 John. <coughs> John. Don't know John. <laughs> Ryan's going blank for right now. <laughs> Should we not say? It don't matter. Appleseed? But, no, kidding. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> nah. John, yes. So there's that, right? So we're going to get a nice one made, right? Not just a one from China. That's something. And then, honestly, something that came to mind specifically for this year is um I want to get some nicer some nicer uh like I can't think of another way to say it but like cookware like mm. nicer stove like a nicer like a setup to make breakfast in like the morning. a legit legit like set uh hunting off of the boat this is specifically for the boat because it's not stuff I'd be packable carrying. light <clears throat> quality yeah yeah, exactly. Where you have just your setup, it just goes something goes yeah. in everything and yeah stays dry. Yeah, yeah. But like a legit system, if you want to get seriously. Yeah. Have you, you been mean, researching? I, you know, I honestly haven't. I haven't got, talking about this. Meiji might wake got, you up. Yeah, no, I haven't yet. But actually, I think it was like a couple of days ago. I actually did start to think about that. I was like, you know, there's you know, you nice know what it, you know what it got was when we were talking about the blind. Hmm. Because when we, I started. And we were talking about cooking bacon and all that good stuff. Yeah. Well, it just started making me thinking about the boat and like stuff that's going to be different and then stuff like what we did last year and all that. And I'm like, we had some good times, but like, um, I could totally get, I could totally dive into that and get oh. some sick stuff. Well, I wasn't like that until we got the boat, because you know I wasn't. Yeah. You've always kind of like been willing to bring stuff out, even when yeah. we hiked in. Oh, yeah. But I tell it's you what, been there ain't much like bacon when you're sitting there waiting for an hour and a half to shoot time. Tortilla. Kind of. Dude. Oh, I, how many times we're talking full course many, meals? Here how many now. times have it's, I made it's no longer just to make it bacon and some donuts? We're talking, we're talking the spread. Huh? Hey, you know I'm a changed man. Last year I started making the change. I was yeah. making breakfast burritos and everything. Yeah, because you know what? It's so easy. It's not even. Well, if you did it before, so you would wrap it in tin foil. I mean, that stays pretty warm for a while, doesn't it? Yeah, but dude, you know how it is you when you have you're, time to kill. You have so much time to kill. So yeah. I tell you what, we have drive you, out there and sit there for three. Hours. Haven't Another you noticed thing, I made a difference in that? Another that whole thing time is, thing now doesn't matter because you're, you're you're doing it's something. Sped it up, dude. Yeah. Sped it up. It's the way to go. I'm telling you, it's what? so worth it. Cooking when you're waiting, oh, when you yeah. get to your spot way early, and you're. Dude, that is the best time but killer. You're, but you're not going to do it if you're packing it, though. You know what I mean? No, I was talking about... Right. Well, I mean, you could, but not really. Yeah, it's the boat. The boat brings that dynamic. You need to, you need to buy a taco truck, too, and just drive out to the refugees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> could be a moneymaker. Yeah. But no, seriously, 
Uh, you can, I yeah, you got me transitioned over because I started doing. I was thinking, dude, this is so easy. Like you know what you need you for sh- starters, you need to get yourself that egg. Mm-hmm. You have one of those, don't you? An egg. To put the eggs in the, the oh yeah the, the heavy, plastic the heavy duty yeah. Have you ever had one crack on you or break when you do that? Oh, I don't have one of those. Oh, okay. No, I don't have one. So you need that. Yeah. Or we need that. Yeah. Hey. Let me jump off track here just for a second. I dialed us in for the coffee, son. That's I was just about I to bring that up. I just just about you're gonna be the the coffee guy, <laughs> and I'll be the cook. He's gonna have an espresso machine on his boat. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this: Should I get? Okay, I'm gonna start looking too, because I want to get what I want to get dialed in is I don't think I want to use a jet boil for my water, mm-hmm. or is that the fastest way? Why to get not? Oh boiled? yeah, oh hundred percent right now. Well, they like have, in a minute you can have boiling water, right? Depending on how much, depending on what model. Now, Jet Boil is kind of obviously a brand, but there's a lot of uh, off brands things that make the same thing, right? Like MSR, all kinds of brands make a jet powered, you know, propane or gas uh, burner, right? But I do know it's been a while since I actually looked at all that, but I do know Jet Boil has a specific one that's like um the fastest one i Mm. I can't remember what you don't have it it? i don't have that one i have one that's made for more for food and water Mm. so like i can do water in it but i can also it's a wider one so because you can adjust it it's adjustable whereas the other ones aren't adjustable they have they have some that are adjustable and some that are just full bore Mm. so um like again i can't give you names but because there's each model has a different one but they do have one that's basically boil water as fast as possible. Like that's that's only purpose. Mm, that's what water. I need for the yeah. coffee. Uh huh. How much water would you need? Uh, I want to say that one is. Oh man, I gotta look it up. Sixty some <laughs> sixty four ounces. <laughs> that that's two a liters? lot. Sixty four ounces. That's half a gallon. That ain't right. Yeah, it is. Cause the other one. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. 32 ounces because the big one is 64. The small one that I have is 32. So 32. But do they even have one big enough? Uh, That's not going to do 32 at one time. It won't? Not what they sell because those are like a packable packable mountain area. Yeah, type type of thing, thing. right? So it's mainly for uh, uh, frozen dried foods, right? Mm -hmm. So most of those are only needing... I don't know, 12, yeah. maybe a little more ounces of water, nice. something like that. Mm-hmm. So they may, you could buy maybe a bigger version with a bigger jet. Well, I mean, I don't have to. It's, it's So it's French press. So I guess I didn't even say that it is French press. And I started doing this two months ago because I was like, I want to get this dialed in for duck season. That's really why I got it. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's right there, that brown one, Travis. Yeah. Well, you don't drink coffee, but no. that brown one, that's a French press, and I oh, can't dude. believe how much I love French press. Like, it's so stinking good. And I got the science down to it. Like, it took, it didn't take me as much practicing and trying as I thought it would. thought I was going to keep messing with time, with the amount of grounds. Because what you do, like, I have it every day before I start work. Like, get it all cleaned out. I hand grind the coffee in this little thing that was, like, the best thing i've ever bought to hand grind the coffee it's just you spin it right in a circle and i do two and a half deals of that which isn't very many beans you stick it right in side there two and then half and then you pour your boiling water i got that instant water thing that you push the button in in like two minutes is boiling water Mm -hmm. you pour it in just enough to cover like the grounds and they they call it let your uh, let the coffee bloom and you actually see it, especially when it's freshly ground. When you pour that hot water in, it like it um, it like swells in there you, for thirty seconds. Then I pour it to I fill it up basically. So I don't have we don't have to make a full thirty two ounces, but I bet you we would drink a lot of it. Mm-hmm. But anyways, then I fill it up and then I wait eight to nine minutes depending on what blend of coffee I'm using because some are li- lighter, so I feel like I like to s- sit longer. And then it's a plunger, and you just slowly push it down until it hits the bottom. And basically, all those grounds that are in there, there's a filter, and the water's coming through, and the coffee's coming through that filter. Otherwise, the grounds are getting pushed down. It's it's stinking good, dude. Like it's some of my favorite coffee right now. Mm-hmm. Is French press? Get the fullness of the yeah. Fr- but I, I set my timer my eight favorite. minutes. I set my timer eight minutes. When that thing goes off, I plunge it and pour my coffee, man. It's good, and really, I don't feel like I feel like for as good as it is, it's easy. Yeah. 
So I'm super looking forward to that in the blind. Yeah. Which coffee makes me nervous because <laughs> gets things moving, but it's like, yeah. whatever. When you're in the boat, you have the luxury to go use the restroom if you need to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just take those baby wipes with you. Good to go. Baby wipes. Essential. That's an essential piece. <laughs> that 100% is. That That's an everyday my, essential. That will be on my list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when we talk about yeah. our... Fi- We're going to do a cool episode later, maybe like in three, you know, two or three weeks. We'll come back and each one of us will give our top five essential <laughs> items of the season that you cannot go without. Whether we repeat the same ones, it don't matter. We'll have our own reasoning, but... <laughs> Anything else? So you said, so you're uh, going to dial, that's cool. That's a good one, dude. Boat blind. The cookware. And then, yeah, the cooking. Those are huge, actually. Yeah. I see where your focus is at. Luxury. Huh? <laughs> Maybe you need to make some phone calls and say, listen here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the new sheriff in town. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. But uh, yeah, um, besides those, honestly, I don't have a ton I have something that's not very fun. I need a new set of uh, shoes for my truck. I need some tires for the, some of the trips we're going to make this year. They are pretty bald, huh? But, yeah. That's what I got to invest into. I but, my two front ones are like... In your truck? Yeah, I don't know. It's like my back ones look great, but the sides of my front ones are wearing down so fast. I'm like, oh, crud. Yeah. You need to get them rotated and air checked. You know what? I, I did have them rotated just like a few months ago, but I think that... Whoever had it before me probably rotated them like right uh, before I got it, and I shouldn't have done it. Oh, gotcha. Huh. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there's still stock. I honestly haven't dove into what I should get. I'm debating on just getting streets again, but then I still flirt with the idea of altering. I don't know. I go back and forth. Get a hybrid, dude. The old man in me says just stay with a street tire because I don't need – I'm not going to off-road in a 250. No. But but you could still get, like, live. a hybrid. That's hybrid tire. That's what mine I are. I those stupid big old rims. So I'm like, what I put on there where it doesn't look like yeah. stupid. You know? Yeah, right. You almost can't go back. I don't know. Yeah. To a street. You know what I mean? I mean, I – yeah, I don't know. Not only that, but I, this will be the first time I bought, bought a set of tires for this truck – and um, it's actually funny because Barney, Big Barney, put the same tires I had on my Chevy on his truck. He got hmm. some Nitto Ridge gr- Grapplers. Really? And I didn't, I didn't hate them. Honestly, it, it was kind of stupid. I put them on a half ton, but they lasted <laughs> forever. Like those tires I had on my truck when you I lifted it. They go chunks out of them. Yeah, we went down that rocky. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean that. Well, that was what that was crazy ply on that. Like, I think they're that? E-rated. Um, they're not, and, and well, I don't know everything Those about tires. Those couldn't have been cheap, but for I could have got cheaper tires for that truck for sure. Oh no, I'm saying they those couldn't have been cheap for that truck. Yeah, I don't remember. I I I want to say like right now they're somewhere around what everything else is. Really? Fit about probably. Well, it depends on what vehicle you buy it for too. I think. And the sizing, you know yeah. what I mean? But I think for my truck, there's probably somewhere around 1500 bucks, maybe. But I kind of need to get a spare, too, because that spares, I guess I don't have to, but I kind of want to have them matching. Whatever. But anyways, that's a legit thing. We got, what, three, three trips or something this year, so yeah. I don't want to, I ain't going to go on. You can take the silver tires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Josh. Josh has just convinced me I got to get a truck. He's all you owe it to yourself for saying this. He's being, <laughs> oh, he's being wow, stupid. Wow, wow. He's all, my God, as, I've had ten trucks since you had that one. I think you're t- due for another one. It was like he's t- so trying to talk me into getting when we were talking on Marco Polo. He's like, just do like uh, Doctor Phil says and tell you. I don't remember what he said. You deserve it, or <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what phrase he used is funny. But anyways, because yeah. um, I was debating, me, I'm like looking at something like yours, and then I'm like, I want the F two fifty, and I'm just like, he's like, just get that. I was like, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I I just don't want nothing else going wrong with my truck. But you don't, you don't know. Mm. You just don't know. It is, it, it is rolling the dice, dude. Yeah. I kind of think you should wait. Really. I do. It's easier to say I, a new vehicle is 
wonderful, right? The payment's well, it won't not... be new. That's the well. That's the problem. It's going to be a five year old, almost six year old yeah. truck that I'm looking at. Yeah. Well, I mean, I bought mine. So it feels kind of weird. I bought mine used. It was. I don't even know. What if I had it? What am I buying it used? But I feel like I, yours is a nineteen two. That's what Josh said. I thought yours was like uh, a twenty one. Oh one. A uh, twenty. He said it was a nineteen. No. I was like, there's probably no getting confused. He has to be t- he has so <laughs> with many all the other vehicles. It's a 21. Yeah. yeah, dude, because they didn't even have those in 19, I don't think, those motors. Those yeah. diesel motors 21. for the half ton. Did they? Uh, I don't know. It's a 21 now. Yeah. He, he's pretty good at that, but he yeah. might have got that confused. But anyways. I bought Mine was three years old, I think, because I think this is my second See, year. that's not that bad, but it's almost six. It's like... Yeah, but it doesn't matter. What does it matter? It don't if, if it's you have, a, if, if it's have, a one owner. If it's the right owner, it doesn't matter. And you have fifty thousand miles on it. Mm-mm. It's been one owner. Yeah. You've babied it. Those motors are gonna go stinking forever yeah. on those. Uh, yeah. Why? So why do you think I should wait? I, uh, it's easier to say no. But I'm, like, just, I'm just asking than to be the person. But I I don't really see why you super need one like. A reliable truck? No, you need a reliable vehicle. I know what you're <laughs> saying. But, like, I feel like your truck has been pretty good, really, overall. I mean, you have a work truck. So you don't have to depend on your personal to do your job. That's huge. If you didn't have that, oh, I, would say, I understand. If you that, didn't have that, I know that. I, I'm not telling you. I'm saying if you didn't have that, I would say, dude, you, should, you need to buy a truck. But because you have that, your personal could be broke down for a month and it would be inconvenient, but you'd still be able to survive. Like my my wife's car just broke down. It was it was down for six months or something like that. Like a forever. It literally had to rebuild the motor and all that. And there was time where it was inconvenient, but I have a work truck too. So it was like it all you're really coordinating is like, oh, you're going to the store. I was going to do this, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like we go to church together in the same Yeah, vehicle. but I can't use my word truck for any of this stuff that for the next five months I'm getting ready to do. And I can't use my well, wife's car. You can't? No. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't be worried about it locally at all. Oh, your work truck. Yeah. I can't but use that. But your personal is perfectly fine. Well, Are you I'm saying s- if it broke down? Yeah. But it's not. Well, it is. I, I mean... I've and I'll tell you what. In the last three years, I've dumped like sixty five hundred dollars into it. Mm, yeah. See, I I know so how that where's feels. The, too. Where's the line at? I know. When do you like? Oh crud! I could have cut my losses at sixty five hundred. Now I'm at ten grand because my tran- tranny went out. Mm-hmm. So you just keep crawling that line. Yeah. Like where's the? Because like you said, Carlos is looking at it like, dude, this thing could go for a long time. Yeah. He goes, but at the same time, it might not. It might not. Yeah. So it's like, uh, it is exactly what you said. You're just kind of like, yeah, you're definitely, you are getting close though. I mean, I'm praying about it. Like I'm trying to like actually yeah, pray. Use like, some wisdom. <laughs> use some wisdom and yeah. give, if I get a gut, bad gut feeling, if however that yeah. feeling comes or the yeah. right thing, but it also counsel of many. Yeah. You're Good for reasons. sure getting close. Like if you bought one, obviously I would, it wouldn't be like, I'll tell you what's hindering me. Buying a truck? I will hundred percent tell you what's hindering me is a payment. Yeah. If there, if I wasn't thinking about how big fat those payments are, yeah. I would have already done it. You mm-hmm. know I would have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd go to that bank right now. Your insurance is more. It's going to go up. Tags. My tra- tags are going to go yeah. up. So it's just like, oh, yeah. man, dude. And I'm paying those right now, and that's why I'm saying don't buy one. Yeah. Well, I paid them. Stuff, I mean, it's like, taking well, them years to go I, down. I, I literally. What is it, seven, eight hundred bucks? Well, it wasn't. When I bought my truck, it was like eleven hundred. No, it was not. I promise you, it was eleven hundred dollars. I have paid my truck <laughs> off, so I'm not making that payment anymore. But mm-hmm. I'm still making my wife's car payment, which is like five hundred bucks, and I'm ready for that payment to be gone. Well, I know, but Josh got a good point. He was like, "Dude, whenever you get one, whenever it is, you're gonna have a payment." Mm-hmm. And it's like I know that's the thing. So it's like that's what I'm avoiding it for. But it's like. It's going to happen. Whenever it happens, it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm going to have one. Yeah. But you the thing gotta, is, you, you just got to pre- time it though where the transition from when this thing's mm-hmm. done and then to, I mean, how much is going to affect your resale value too? Like, are you going to resell this thing? Are you going to sell that truck? And then how much, like if it, let's say if it does break down, right? The, the old it, one or the yes, new one? Yes, the old one breaks down. Uh-huh. 
Well, then you have to pay to fix that one. That's then what you're going to sell it, right? You lost that money. You lost that money, and then you're going to go buy. You're going to have to buy another one, right? Because mm-hmm. you're like, I'm done with this one. So there's that. That's what I'm saying. There, no one here knows. Yeah, but God, <laughs> I'm no, like, yeah. he's the only one knows when that thing's going to. Yeah, but is it better to? But I'm thinking, just is it better to sell it now while you get some money out of it before you have to yeah. dump money into it to get rid of it? No, I know. I've thought that. Yeah, yeah. I've well, thought that's that. a good point. Yeah. I've thought, okay, if the tranny goes out, if some other stupid thing goes out, like right now the air AC doesn't work. There's a leak somewhere, so I got to get that fixed. If it's if it's coming out of that little drain port, Carl's like, dude, that's forty bucks. If it's coming out of the evaporator, that's a thousand bucks. So there you go again. So to get this truck even at the point I'm selling, I'm already know in my head like I'm possibly looking at a thousand to twelve hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So there goes another one, and yeah, I'm like, right. okay, now are we good? Yeah, because I keep thinking I'm good. No, I know what you're saying. That's the same same thing with that's four months Darian's of payments. Car, yeah, but that's it's the same thing. Months. It's just no matter what you look at, payment stinks, dude. No, it's terrible. But it, we use the vehicle, and like they said, the other reason is when you don't use it all the time, like I used to, it does make it a little bit harder to be like yeah. to make that payment because yeah. you're like, I don't drive it that much. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You don't. You're not gonna put a ton of miles on. I will you have. for the next five months. Yeah, but then it's a. But then it is gonna go into a big lull again. Yeah. A work vehicle definitely changes your way of thinking. It does, dude. Like, man, dude, why do I got to pay for this? Yeah. Like, pay, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, it's I don't even use this for work. Blessing. And I, I need to spend all this money on a personal? Mm-hmm. You know, I've thought that, you know. But it's like, what do you do? I I use it all the time, too. So it's like, you do have to have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. At, the one thing you could look at it is like, okay, you could be like rain or shine this time next year. I'm buying one and you could say, okay, I'm, I'm keeping my truck for one more year and basically specifically put money towards that. Cause you know, you're spending it next year. You know what I mean? Like, so you could be kind of giving yourself time to save money interest free type of deal. I mean, if if that's an option, I mean, everybody's got if it's everybody's different. I know what you're saying, like yeah. My one thing was too is I thought, man, I can put this you know ten grand from this sell this truck on to the new one. That changes my payment like seventy five. It don't do bucks. jack. It don't do the, jack. The loans are too short for it to even matter. I know. So yeah, it's like this may sound crazy. I don't know why this came to me, but a while back I was thinking, I was like, I could do that. Some people that are really smart on your listening might think this is totally foolish, but I thought, dude, I told Sarah, I'll put the money in the bank. I know for a fact I wouldn't use it for anything else. I put the money in the bank and I'd make the payment with that. Yeah. For at least a year. I I was kind of in a similar situation. And then I could maybe refinance if rates drop. If they go up, then I'm better off because I got a lower interest rate. So you're kind of ahead either way, right? Because it's about a year you can re- refinance. I don't know if it matters with cars. You can do it whenever. I, yeah, I don't know for sure. I don't yeah, know if it matters true. at all. But, um, yeah, I don't know if it matters at all. I mean, legitimately, that that I I was actually thinking of that same thing in a different way between my house and my cars. But that's kind of prolonging the inevitable, and it's actually just spending more money on interest. And I, I know, like that will like ease the pain for a while but at at once that money's 10 grand's gone you know what i mean no i instead do instead of instead of, you could do that now versus pay use that 10 grand to pay that you know but you're paying all that interest so i don't know i guess it just depends on timing but you you know that you're your well, part of it was too is i could because I can dump that on there whenever I want yeah. and then just make it how I want to make the payment. Yeah. If I'm like, yeah, I better just dump this on there. Uh, but I thought that gives me some time. I can make the payments, but so, but I'm also, uh, I could see, dude, because there's so many things that could change here yeah. really quick with the election. Yeah. That like if Trump did get it, uh-huh. I know they ain't going to drop overnight, but I would assume within. You're just saying you would like to just keep that cash till you know what happens with the election. Yeah, and, and like, rates. Yeah, and then if they if they skyrocket, yeah, I don't know what rates are right now, but weren't they down like two percent when he was in office or something like that? Yeah, they were like two percent. Yeah, they were in the twos. Yeah, now they're 
two digits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's not get in politics, yeah, but no. we could, but we won't. We won't. maybe next time. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. Any any other advice on? The, <laughs> I Flip guess a coin. make a lot of money. <laughs> Flip a coin. <laughs> make a lot of money. Yeah. I need to work some more OT. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get yourself in a position where you're. It stresses you. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. And I, I will won't do say. That. I will say this. I will say this. Me and Josh bought trucks like right at the same time. He's got to copy everything I do. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> He's bought a billion trucks. <laughs> I've bought like two in my life. He's bought probably fifty. But we bought them at the same time. Our payments were pretty close to the same. The difference between me and him was I absolutely love my truck. I hate the payment, but I love that truck almost too much to sell it. He was not in love with that truck. It was a nice truck, and he had bought it because he did need to tow stuff around. But eventually he got rid of his situation that he needed the truck for, and he wasn't in love with the truck, so he he could not make that payment anymore. He could make the payment, but he didn't want to. And that's the one truck he's actually lost some money in because it was a brand new truck off the lot. Everyone knows you lose a ton of money as and he, soon as you Because he doesn't it. keep it. And, and, and he didn't keep it, right. Yeah. If you do that, obviously when you drive it off the lot, you lose. But if you keep it mm-hmm. over the long term, that's not felt as much as if you sell it in two years or whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm kind of the opposite. He buys and sells, usually makes money. I usually just keep the same thing forever. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not oh, like I'm that old, but like I had my last truck for 10 years. And I know there's like a lot of guys that have longer, but I mean, that's yeah. a pretty decent amount. I just drive stuff into the ground. Till it dies. Yeah, you yeah. do, for sure. Yeah, you do, yeah. for sure. And I w- honestly, I want to be that way with this truck. And it could be, it could <laughs> last 15 years, 20 years. It could last for who knows how long. Yeah. You know? Those motors, yeah. So yes. I don't know. Hope, you know, knock on wood. You get a good one, but 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 like Carlos was telling me, it doesn't. It's kind of it's kind of a trip with these trucks because like your truck, for instance, like he said, you okay at three hundred thousand, three hundred fifty thousand, four hundred thousand, you need a new engine. Mm-hmm. Whoop de do, yeah. Slap a new engine in there. Yeah. A guy like him does that uh-huh. for whatever. I don't. It wasn't. I can't remember what he told me, but it wasn't that bad, mm. dude. You're good for another three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, that's crazy. And I mean. <laughs> Unless you're like, and you have diesel now, nuts or something. Yeah, that. But that's, well, I don't know about that. But I'm just saying, like, body wise, p- powertrain wise, and all Take this. And that, me, if yeah. you're not, if you're not loading, if you're not hauling every single day, and this truck is not, mm. I mean, you're not being that hard on this stuff. I mean, our California roads are terrible, but I mean, this those trucks are, I don't know, they're built decent i guess i think it'll be fine mm-hmm. let's just put it this way i'm gonna try to use it as long as i can mm-hmm. and you don't put much anyways either because you like you said you have work trucks. i on. will say the next thing one here's another thing this is kind of separate but and it's not this year but coming soon at some point in the works will be a legit shop for the boat and all the duck stuff. Actually, all the stuff, period. But Podcast room? Hey, sky's Build the limit. Build out a podcast Sky's room. the limit. We're building the shell first. I get first. tossed on every episode if I did out there. <laughs> We're building the shell first, but that that is something. My point with that is basically keeping stuff protected out of the mm-hmm. sun and stuff like that. But Organized, too. Organized. Because yeah. me and you both are like organized, I feel like, like, like I don't have enough room in the work with, so it looks like chaos. But for what I do have, I keep it pretty decent. I like room. I'm kind of OCD, and if I could make everything super clean and organized, that's exactly how I have it. You're like that too, but you kind of work with a small space with your small taxidermy, space, yeah. so it does make it tough, dude. It yeah. does. You can't let one thing get out of whack or it looks thrashed. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that, I feel like that's what I'm always fighting yeah. with. Like there's and two. I mean, like with his shop, if it's his own space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Or like my garage, it's got multiple stuff. It's got mul- multiple, sp- yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Use uses for it. So yeah, yeah. 
The dream is to have a garage that your car actually goes into and there's nothing else in there. Imagine right. that. Imagine yeah. that. Like, I don't mean not one box. <laughs> <laughs> be amazing. Is that? That's the dream right oh, there. that'd be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be sweet. I'm all about room and cleanliness. But, Dude, that brings, it takes absolute stress out of your life. It brings peace and serenity to order, your life. You know where order everything's at. P- peace and serenity and order to your life when there is no clutter and chaos. If you know where stuff's at, you can just go grab it. I can it. sleep so yeah, good at night back. when stuff's like that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. We're going to end this episode. If you guys are looking in for an amazing choke this duck season, check out motorchokes.com. That's what we're all running. And uh already ran them all last year. And it was no doubter. Game changer for me. Makes... uh the confidence level go up when you got something that's smacking them as hard as it does. So check them out, motorchokes.com, and put our code MVM2024 to get uh, 10% off. We'll see you guys in the next one.